CC Studios, and this is a tour of my Lego camper MOC or mock. I don't really know, but I've created a lot of elements to this that did it based on the real one, but also a little different because it's pretty. Well, you said I sort of made a modern camper, my version of one. So this is that's sort of me right there as a minifig. So we're gonna start with the outside of the camper. So first we have this awning above the door. You can slide off the light right there. This little door is actually a refrigerator door, but it matches, so it opens up. I'll give you a door to the inside later. So my mini thing, you know, you can go on the step, help you get up onto the door. Anyways, so and then the awning has these two loops that I sewed. You can just slide it back on to these two sticks. There. Now, let's take a tour of the back. The back is not very interesting. There's a little license plate with a bike holder and a ladder that goes up to the roof. And this is supposed to be sort of another awning, but just not out. So that's all the back. Now here's the other side. Just windows. Find one more windows. Not much to look at there. Then the front. You can see the steering wheel and stuff where you drive. Um, also not much to look at. So now I'll show you the roof. So we have a satellite signal here for the TV on the inside. We have this where they store their shelf. It doesn't actually open, it's just for display. And over here, this hatch opens to reveal the top bunk, which I will show from the inside later. So you've pretty much seen the whole outside now. Now let's move on to the inside. Okay, so here is the main room area from an overhead view. So right here, the chair, and it opens up so that minifigs can sleep on it. And then, or just rest their legs there, you can fold it back up. There, right here, is a little table where they can eat. Since the chairs are right up against the wall, you can't put them fully on the chair, so you have them sort of hanging off like that. They're still in line with the table. Let's take, oh, he's stuck. There we go. Here's a little sink an oven with some pizza in it, a refrigerator, a tiny one. See if I can get it open, tiny Lego handle. I don't have Lego hands. There we go. So there's the refrigerator, TV. Then I have gray flooring. So you've seen the main room. Let's move on to the bathroom. The bathroom has this toilet made out of these white hose pieces on a stick with this piece that clicks onto it. Here's a bathtub that actually goes, it's sort of built into the wall. I've mostly designed this camper for minifigs, not necessarily mini dolls, because minifigs would just fit better in all of these, except the bathtub is really tight, so it's very hard to get them in unless you sort of jam them in. Here is, it's kind of small, but a sink and a tiny sticker mirror. Don't know what set the sticker mirror came from, but it's very thin, so I used it. I think the bathroom's pretty good. The only problems are, don't have a door. So I couldn't find a door small enough, so that's my only refrigerator door. And it has two windows, which is a little too much for the bathroom. But that's okay, because it's just mini. Here is the bedroom from an overhead view. I'll show everything from a side view after the overhead view. There's the top bunk. And when the hatch is on, so let me put it on just to show the example. It opens it up, so the person on top can sleep under the stars. Right here is the ladder to the top bunk, which separates the um, driving area and the bunk beds. So now let's do the driving area. Not much to see. We have this little plate I got from a Lego friend's car. It has a little GPS, music, telephone, play, then some words, but not as detailed as words. There's two chairs, a steering wheel, and then these handles by the chairs just to fill up that space um so i was trying to figure out what to do with the chairs so i couldn't have them they could both be in the middle but they'd be touching and if they're both on the edges then the steering wheel wouldn't fit in line with the driver's seat so i just had to put them one against the wall and one one stud away from the wall to make them even it's kind of hard to explain but i was having some difficulties with that so now that you've seen all of this I will 
will show you the camper from the regular view. Here is the driver's seat and the bedroom from a regular view. So you can see it this way to see the ladder. And bed. And then, yeah, you can take this wall off to put minifigs in the seats or in the bottom bunk. And again, I did build this mostly for minifigs. So you see how they fit almost perfectly in the bunk. Their feet are hanging over, but mini dolls, since they're so tall, their feet hang off a lot. So you can put them in there, but their feet are gonna hang off a lot. So yeah, there's the driver's area and the bunk, but there's a nice window right there. Hello. So you can, you sleep, there's a window right there to wake you up in the morning. And if, so I also put the bunk bed next to the driver's area, say their parents are driving right here. They don't have to, you know, turn around or, well, they, I mean, they do have to turn around to just look at their kids if they're sleeping in the bunk, but they wouldn't have to walk to the back of the camper or anything. And I also, I needed to put the bathroom in the back because we don't want to walk through the bathroom to get somewhere else because that would just be weird. And the driver's seats, of course, have to be on the front. So now I'll take the next wall off and I will show you the kitchen and bathroom from this form. Okay, so here's the kitchen and bathroom. The kitchen table was built into the walls. So that's why there's still this here, but really the wall will be here. And then you see under this, I have all these colorful plates because I just ended up covering them in gray ones. Here's the chair that extends, and then many things can sleep on that if they don't have enough bed space. And then it folds back up so people can walk through the door. Then here is the table. And the walls here, their arm is in the way, so I have to scoot them over this way one. Um, and then I guess I can sit in both chairs. And then the fridge has a sushi, it's turned upside down, it's hard to see. And then some sort of jelly cookie thing. Here is pizza. Up here is the stove and the sink and the TV. So you've seen the kitchen now. Moving on to the bathroom, toilet, bathtub. And the reason this is open is because the wall's against it, so it just sort of fills in that area. Then there's the sink with a tiny mirror. It's hard for many to get many things in the bath. There we go. But when the wall is there, you have to put them this way. Let's see if I can lift their arms up. Will you go in the bathtub now, little mini fig? No, you don't want to. Yeah, well, I guess you don't really go in the bathtub unless you take the wall off. But, you know, at least they have it, you know, to get clean. So, yeah, that is my camper. So... You've seen every room, so please tell me if you like it. I have, I've watched a lot of videos for inspiration. So, parts of the camper. At first, it was actually only gonna be this big. It would stop right here where this chair was. Like, whoa, that's way too tiny. I need to make it bigger. I need to make space for a bedroom. So then I added the bedroom, and then instead of having the driving area, I just had a part where you could connect it to the car. And I was constantly falling off the car. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna build a small driving area. So I added that. And then the floors are colorful. I'm like, I need to add some gray. So I did, I renovated the toilet, which sounds weird, but the toilet was a different design at first. And I watched a video on how to make a better one. And uh, yeah, before I had a pink couch where my fold up chair was, I'm like, ee, that does not match. So I had just finished the renovating and made my video. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you like it.